Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's GitOps Lab, uh, Argo GitOps Lab. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how you, you can install Argo, which is basically the CLI for Argo workflow, not to be confused with Argo CD, which is a different thing. So um, what is Argo um, workflow anyway? So in Argo CD, what we did, um, as in the other video that I, uh, I recorded, you're only worried about deploying something from a repo that has your YAML files. Argo workflow is a much, much more complicated and powerful system where you can have all kinds of conditions and uh, DAG diagrams that will be executed. So you can have one step executed, then depending on that, you might do step two, step three, and step N and there might be a whole lot of dependence in between them. So imagine if you had a Jenkins server that deployed a whole bunch of things for you with dependencies in between them. And this is basically what it is for Kubernetes clusters. If you want to de deploy stuff in Kubernetes cluster that has lots of dependencies and, and complications, you could set it all up on a workflow and it will do it for you. And you can see it, see it get deployed on an UI too. So anyway, to, there, are many, well, there are a couple of ways of doing this, but uh, one way you could do this is through CLI, which is not recommended at all for production, but for, for practice purposes, you can do this. So to do that though, we have to install the Argo CLI on your local machine. In this, in this case, for my, in my case, it's a Mac. So the requirement for this is we have, we have, we have to have a Mac with a Darwin um, AMD chip and Darwin OS, which I do have. And I, I just explained to you what an Argo workflow is. So let's get started. So um, first thing we're going to do, we're going to download the binary from Argo uh, Git repo. And if I do this, I see that it got downloaded. It's, uh, I wonder how big it is. It's, um, it's quite big. It's um, kilobytes, for, well, 42 megabytes anyway. So that's the zip version. Now we're going to unzip uh, that file, that binary. And now if I do, you will see that uh, there's the binary that got unzipped. All right, and probably doubled in size or so. All right, so now we're gonna change the permissions on this so it can be executable. Now I'm going to copy this to either local bin so that uh, anybody on the system can use this. Argo. Okay, need to put password. All right, so now if I do ls minus lrt, user local bin, Argo. There's the file and it's executable. All right, so that's that. Now uh, we already moved it now to, to con confirm that it's got installed. I can just first of all run Argo version and it gives me a whole lot of details about when it was built. Uh, I wonder if I have the, if I have a, yeah, I do have older version because I'm specifying a whole a specific version. I bet you by now the version is much, much higher uh, because it, this was built in 2021. The version is uh, 3.16. All right. So now, and th this binary is meant for Darwin on AMD 64 chip. All right. Uh, I can also do Argo to help to give me how to use this uh, uh, CLI. I can also do Argo list to list all the um, workflows I have defined on the system. Right now, I don't have any, which will be uh, one of the labs I'll do in the future. But that list, it, you know what how it's, how you're supposed to do. One thing I want to show you is. Um, to create a workflow, uh, you use Argo create, and it's a whole lot of description on here. So I can just do this, Argo create. I should complain that I need more more than that. Uh, it doesn't like create. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So it, we, we could use this CLI to actually install a workflow on our cluster. All right, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe. And that helps me with the YouTube, YouTube algorithm, and it keeps me going. To, uh, to create more videos for you. And I will see you in the next GitOps Lab.